What is MWC? Mobile World Congress is the biggest and most exciting event for the mobile industry. It's where the majority of big players like Samsung, LG, Sony, and Huawei show off their latest and greatest products every year. When is MWC? Mobile World Congress kicks off on Monday, February 26 and ends on Thursday, March 1. Many companies typically announce new devices at press events held a day or two before the show officially starts. Where is MWC? As is the case every year, MWC will take place in Barcelona, Spain at two venues, Fira Gran Vila and Fira Montjuic. What can we expect from MWC 2018? MWC has always been about smartphones. We'll see a number of them announced in sunny Spain including what will likely be the star of the show, the Galaxy S9 series. Plenty of other devices like smartwatches, tablets, and more are also expected to be revealed. Want to learn more? We've rounded up all the details about MWC 2018 we know so far, so watch on. Samsung has announced that the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus will make their debut at an unpacked event on February 25th, a day before MWC kicks off. It didn't share any details regarding the devices, but we know a lot about them thanks to the many leaks and rumors we've come across. The flagships won't be major upgrades over their predecessors. They are expected to feature the same 5.8 and 6.2-inch Super AMOLED displays with QHD Plus resolution and an 18.5 to 9 aspect ratio. The Plus model could sport a dual camera setup on the back and 6 GB of RAM, while its smaller brother may feature a single primary shooter and 4 GB of RAM. Both should be powered by the Snapdragon 845 or Exynos 9810 chipset depending on the region. Samsung's upcoming handsets are also said to be IP68 rated for protection against water and dust, come with the new intelligent scan feature on board, and sport variable aperture. To learn more, check out our Galaxy S9 rumor roundup post. Samsung could also unveil the DeX Pad accessory along with the Galaxy S9 series. Like last year's DeX, it should let you hook up your smartphone to a monitor, keyboard and mouse to use it like a desktop computer. However, the DeX Pad will have a different design than its predecessor, which will allow the smartphone to lie flat on the dock instead of upright. The device might also ditch the Ethernet port, meaning you'll likely have to rely on Wi-Fi. Additionally, the tech giant could announce a new high-end tablet in Barcelona. It took the wraps off the Galaxy Tab S3 at MWC 2017 so it's possible we'll see its successors at this year's event. Many initially thought LG would take the wraps off the successor to the G6 at MWC in Barcelona, but it now looks like that may not happen. According to the latest report, the company's CEO has ordered a complete rethink of the upcoming flagship, which could push its revealed date back to at least April. Additionally, LG confirmed it would move away from a traditional annual release strategy instead retaining existing modules over a longer lifespan. Nothing has been confirmed yet, there's still a chance we'll see the G6's successor in Barcelona, but don't hold your breath. It's more likely LG will reveal an upgraded version of the V30 at MWC according to a report from ET News, the smartphone might be called the V30s and could come with 256GB of storage. For comparison, the V30 has 64GB of storage, while the Plus model offers double that at 128GB. The flagship is also said to come with LG Lens, a camera with AI features similar to Bixby Vision found on the Galaxy S8 and Note 8. It's expected to give users the ability to search and shop for items, translate text, and more. All other specs will be the same as those of the standard V30. Details on which devices Huawei might unveil at MWC are scarce. What we do know is that we won't see the successors to the P10 and P10 smartphones, as those will make their debut on March 27 in Paris. At MWC 2017, Huawei revealed the Watch 2 and Watch 2 Classic. It's possible the company could announce their successors in Barcelona, but we haven't come across any leaks or rumors that would support this assumption. 
Rumors also suggest the manufacturer could reveal a couple of new Mate books. Huawei is teasing its February 25th press event at MWC on Twitter with a GIF image that shows what look to be two notebook silhouettes flying across the screen. Additionally, Huawei could take the wraps off the MediaPad M5. The high-end tablet is expected to come with an 8.4-inch QHD display, the Kirin 960 chipset, and 4GB of RAM. It would be the successor to the MediaPad M3 which made its debut at IFA 2016. Nothing has been confirmed yet, so take these rumors with a grain of salt. Alcatel gave us a sneak peek at three of its upcoming smartphones at CES, which will make their official debut at MWC. The company didn't reveal their names, but the devices will likely be called the Alcatel 5, 3V, and 1X. All of them will feature an 18 to 9 display and the affordable price tag the Alcatel brand has become known for. Although Alcatel didn't share the specs of the devices with the public, we have a good idea of what one of them might bring to the table. According to Roland Quandt, the 3V is expected to come with a 6 inch Full HD Plus display, the MediaTek Mount 6737 chipset, and 2GB RAM. It could be equipped with a dual camera setup on the back, 16 megapixels plus 2 megapixels, pack a 3000 mAh battery, and offer 16 gigabytes of expandable storage. There's no word on what specs the other two smartphones will offer. It's possible Alcatel will announce a few more handsets in Barcelona. Based on the leak showing the company's 2018 lineup of smartphones, models 3 and 3X could also be revealed. Jao Sarvikas, the CEO of HMD Global, has announced on Twitter to expect something awesome from the company at MWC 2018. Unfortunately, he didn't share what that might be. A recent leak suggests the company may announce the Nokia 1, 4, 7 Plus, and 9 sometime this year. It's possible a few of these models, or all of them, will be revealed at MWC, although nothing has been confirmed yet. The Nokia 9 stopped by the FCC in December, giving us a closer look at its specs. It might come with a 5.5-inch QHD OLED display, a dual camera setup with 13 and 12 megapixel sensors, and the Snapdragon 835 chipset. Other features include a 3250 mAh battery, 128 GB of expandable storage, and a 5 megapixel selfie snapper. The 7 Plus is expected to be an upgraded version the Nokia 7 with a larger 18 to 9 display and a dual camera setup on the back. The Nokia 4 is expected to offer mid-range specs, while the Nokia 1 should be an entry-level smartphone that could run Android Go and come with 1 GB of RAM. Additionally, we might see the Nokia 8 Sirocco make its debut in Barcelona. The handset is rumored to be an upgraded version of the Nokia 8 that will come with a no-lead display, dual selfie cameras, and more storage. The rest of the specs will remain the same as those of the original device. That means it should come with a 5.3-inch QHD display, the Snapdragon 835 chipset, and two 13-megapixel sensors on the back. According to a report from my drivers, Sony will reveal a flagship smartphone at MWC called the Spirian XZ Pro. It is expected to sport a 5.7-inch OLED display with 4K resolution, the Snapdragon 845 chipset, and 6 GB of RAM. It could be Sony's first handsets with a dual camera setup. The report claims it will feature an 18-megapixel sensor with 1.33mm pixel size and a 12-megapixel sensor at 1.38mm pixels at the back. Other specs and features include a 3420mAh battery, 128GB of storage, and an IP68 rating for protection against water and dust. We've also heard rumors about this Purian XZ2 and XZ2 Compact both of which are expected to sport a Snapdragon 845 chipset. The former has accidentally been confirmed by the Carrier 3 Ireland in a now-deleted tweet, while the latter has apparently stopped by the FCC recently. The XZ2 Compact is expected to come with a 5-inch 18-9 display, 
4 gigabytes of RAM, and a dual camera setup. Aside from the chipset, specs of the XZ2 are currently unknown. The two smartphones could be revealed at MWC alongside the Spirian XZ Pro, although this hasn't been confirmed yet. It's possible they'll make their debut at a later date based on the fact their predecessors were announced just six months ago. Lenovo announced the Moto G5 and G5 Plus at MWC 2017. At this year's event, the company could unveil the G6 series of smartphones. Images of the Moto G6, G6 Plus, and G6 Play have leaked, giving us a closer look at their designs. All three models look more or less the same, sporting glass backs and big camera bumps. When it comes to specs, the G6 is said to come with a 5.7-inch Full HD Plus display, the Snapdragon 450 chipset, and a 3000 mAh battery. The Plus model will reportedly feature a 5.93-inch display, the Snapdragon 630 processor, and a 3200 mAh battery. Both devices might come with either 3 or 4 GB of RAM and 32 or 64 GB of storage, although the Plus model might also be offered with 6 GB of RAM. The smartphones are also expected to be equipped with a dual camera setup sporting 12 and 5 megapixel sensors. The G6 Play could have a 5.7-inch display and pack a massive 4000 mAh battery. Other specs such as the chipset and RAM are unknown for now. Additionally, images of the Moto Z3, Z3 Play, and X5 have also leaked. However, these three phones likely won't be revealed at MWC, although everything is possible. Asus has sent out press invites for its MWC event taking place on February 27, which hint the Zenfone 5 series will make its debut. It's expected we might see the Zenfone 5. 5 Max, and 5 Lite, all of which could have 18 to 9 displays. The Zenfone 5 could look a lot like the iPhone X, which can either be a good or a bad thing depending on who you ask. WinFuture has shared an alleged image of their handset that shows it could have an iPhone X-like notch on the front and vertically positioned dual cameras on the back. The Zenfone 5 Max is expected to feature a massive battery, although its capacity is unknown at this point. Rumors suggest the handset will also offer a 5.7-inch display, a dual camera setup, and Android Oreo. Moving on to the Zenfone 5 Lite, the device is expected to come with a Snapdragon 660 chipset under the hood along with 4GB of RAM, according to Roland Guand. It could also sport four cameras, two on the front and two on the back. None of the rumors have been confirmed yet, so we'll have to wait until February 27th to see whether they are true or not. The ZTE Blade V9, initially rumored to make its debut at CES, will likely be announced at MWC. The company accidentally listed the smartphone on its website back in December, revealing its specs and design. The mid-range smartphone is expected to come with a 5.7-inch Full HD Plus display which means it should have an 18 to 9 aspect ratio. It could feature the Snapdragon 450 chipset under the hood along with 2, 3, or 4 GB of RAM. Other specs and features include a dual camera setup with 16 and 5 megapixels sensors, a 13 megapixel selfie snapper, and a 3200 mAh battery. The device may run Android 8.0 Oreo and sport a glass body. No word on other devices ZTE might launch in Barcelona. There you have it, these are some of the products that might be revealed at MWC 2018. A lot of other well-known brands like HTC and Acer will also be present at the show, but there's no word on which devices they might announce. We'll update this page as soon as we hear more to keep you up to speed with all the latest. Meanwhile. Let us know which products are you most looking forward to in the comments. To discover more Android-related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S. Sorrels channel.